Hello and welcome back to Knitting Artisan Podcast. I'm Cindy and I'm your very introverted host of the Knitting Artisan channel. And for those of you who saw my Vlogmas from yesterday and watched it through to the end, you are aware of what happened in Clarksville yesterday. And I want to thank those of you that that watched and and are praying for Clarksville and uh, for those of you who left very kind comments I'm very grateful to you and that's still heavy on my mind today it doesn't escape my awareness that people today have woken up to a very different reality and here I am I'm sitting in my home. I'm very grateful to have a home. Some people have lost their lives. And that said, I just, uh, I suppose I uh, have been contemplating and thinking today and praying and it's things like that that are a reminder to us all that acquiring things and is um, it's just not what the season is about. I was even a bit nervous endeavoring to start doing Vlogmas on my channel. Uh, the whole reason for starting my channel, or one of the big reasons, was to um, reach out and connect with other fellow knitters and crocheters and people that enjoy the fiber arts and make connections. And and I, I, I'm reminded of a thread that I read just right before beginning Vlogmas on Reddit in the Craft Snark community talking about Vlogmas and some of the things people don't like about Vlogmas. If you can hear my, my kitty cat here, she, she's snoring and quite comfy. Stormy? So I apologize if you can hear that. Um, but some of the things they were talking about that they don't like are quite valid. Um, a lot of were expressing that they don't like the consumerism of it all and for it being about showing off what you have. And I very much agree with that sentiment. So I, I was a bit concerned that, that it may appear as though that was what I was doing and I can assure you I, I have no desire to show off or or for it to be all about uh, what we you know the advent calendars that we've gotten as a matter of fact our family hasn't even celebrated the holiday in eight nine years something like that as uh, our own family went through a rough patch so my focus for a while has very much been about creating a peaceful loving home and that has been my focus and that is has been what I wanted to share on vlogmas I've never had yarn or any advent calendar for that matter so I just was, to, I suppose, share, opening up my family to share with all of you. But with everything that's happened, I, I um, obviously, I can't help but notice the contrast that I woke up in my home this morning. And there are many people that aren't. So it's just a, a, another reminder that life has dished up to encourage us all to put kindness and love into the world. If there's any way 
that we can help others when we cross paths with someone, then let's help if we can. It, whether that's through prayers or uh, labor or giving. And I would say, encourage us all, if you, if you do decide to give, make sure you're giving to a reputable charity where, where people are actually being helped and not just give money carelessly. Um, we want to actually help people and not have anyone be defrauded. Anyway, I, I, I know I'm rambling. I hope that what I'm saying is cohesive. But be grateful for all the blessings and good things in your life. And um, while I know sharing a cup of coffee on my Vlogmas, it may seem trivial, but to me, it's a moment of peace and just being grateful for that a warm mug of coffee and enjoying that simple pleasure. And it's all about what we create in our lives. Sometimes things land on our doorstep. I'll share with you some things that have blessed me recently and just really touched my heart. And uh, my, I started going to my mailbox and, and I, I would get a little surprise in the mailbox. And so to my sister's friend, Julie, Thank you so much. Julie doesn't know me. No, excuse me. Her name is Vicky. <laughs> Julie is my sister. My sister's friend is Vicky. So, Vicky, I apologize. But Vicky doesn't know me. And she was just so sweet and mailed me a card thinking of me. And what a blessing this was to open this up in the mail. And then the next day, I go to the mailbox and I received this card from Cindy. Cindy, thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending me a beautiful card. Thank you for the time it took to think of me and put this in the mail. I am the world's worst at getting cards out in the mail. By the way, Cindy, you have a great name. <laughs> um, but how special that, you know, two people have thought of me. And tonight when I went to church, I, I had a lady that came up to me and surprised me with a gift. And I don't know what made her think of me, but it was just the sweetest thing ever. And so I got home and opened it, opened it up, and she had given me this sweet little arrangement. And I'm going to put this somewhere and enjoy it every day. And every day I'm going to think of you, Miss Barbara. And... Just say a prayer for you and Julie and, or excuse me, Vicki and Cindy. Um, I'm just going to be so grateful for sweet people that put love and kindness out in the world. And so I think I'm just taking today to pause and think about every good thing that's happened in my life and, and I want to focus on putting good things out in the world and I just hope we all can. What We never know what burdens other people are car carrying whether you know that they're sick or a loved one has become sick or they've experienced a loss of some kind whether it's a dear loved one or their home um, whether their children have had a bad day. We, you know, we're interacting with people everywhere. And times are hard. Everybody has a struggle in some form or fashion. And just with uh, what has happened in Clarksville, I'm just reminded that There are things so much more important than acquiring and 
buying things and and that's not what this season is about I hope all of my ramblings make sense and that it has that what I'm trying to say is landing with the intent that I'm sending it out with so hug your loved ones tell them every day you love them make time for the things that are most important and if you can just smile at someone that's free I'll never forget one time leaving a grocery store years ago and I was crossing paths with, with a woman as I was entering the store as she was coming out and she looked as though she had the weight of the world on her and I just smiled at her and she paused and she brightened up. I don't know what heavy load that lady was carrying but we can give everyone a smile. We can open and hold doors for people. Uh, maybe we could if you're in the drive through pay for the meal for the person in behind you and put things out into the world that bless other people and make their days lighter and and it will come back to us anyway um, just some thoughts of where my mind has been today and I just want to tell all of you that have been watching my little vlogmas and um, and been commenting or wa or just watching, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for watching, and and I'm I'm so enjoying getting to know some of you lovely people that are taking time out of your day to spend a few minutes with my little family and. Uh, I read all of your comments and take them to heart and I'm, I'm grateful for all of you so I just want to send a little love and care and kindness and compassion your way and I think something that I would really love to see in the comments is what are ways that you have blessed other people and what are ways that you have helped lighten their load in life and what have you done to put a smile on their face or glow in their heart just warmth share all those ideas with helping out at a, uh, a homeless shelter everything let's brainstorm about what we can do to bless other people and let's share all that in the comments so yeah no vlog today other than just my little talk and ramblings from my mind and signing off for now and god bless you bye